a question. Why me? Why me? I'm not exaggerating. I'm gonna send you a picture. Yeah. Oh my gosh. But I'm just gonna find joy in the storm. So it's been, I don't know, a week, a week and a half, and we now have a sunroof. And pieces of the roof, or I don't know if it's pieces of the roof or rocks or whatever, is falling down into this bucket making a clank clank noise and it's you see what I mean it's driving me nuts this is ridiculous yeah if it rains again my house is gonna be the Noah's Ark like we're gonna be flooded and god forbid <laughs> this season is really hard um considering that I'm not working not because I don't want to work but because it's hard for me to find one. Um, a lot of jobs require standing for long periods of time. I can't do that right now. So it's even harder to find a job that fits. So yeah, I'm waiting on God to open a door. But in the meantime, I'm still looking. So I'm at this point where um, my trust is getting super tested because it's only going to take God to take me out of it. Waiting is hard, okay? If someone says waiting is easy, they're lying to you. They just want to, they want to seem like a super Christian with a cape on. But yeah. <laughs> It's so crazy because he doesn't know anything about us. He doesn't know if we're sexually active, if we're married. But he was talking to us about our worth and just being abstinent and celibate until marriage. That's just, it's so crazy. There's so much going on right now. I can't find the Doing this all alone Sometimes I feel tired And I feel worn out Then I remember What worship was all about Hallelujah
porn star. <laughs> they have different, uh, different motives. Some, some, some of them want to put you in the bed with them. Let them get you. Forget about you. The other song my dad is worth waiting for. And you're worth waiting for. So. You hold that on to it. You're innocent. Don't let it go. Keep it. Wait for marriage. Wait for the right one. He's out there. He's out there. You know he's out there for you, sir. You just gotta keep serving God. He's doing the right thing. Now, I, I have my fault, my problem, my problems, and I'm working on it. I really am. So, if I keep going forward, I, I get there. Eventually. Eventually. Sometimes you pray and pray and pray and things still don't turn out the way you want them to. Like I'm telling you, um, I was praying for my house and everybody in my house like so hard. And like right when I start praying for the house, like it starts falling apart, you know? And I actually learned something from it. Like don't wait until everything starts falling apart to start fixing them. And repairing them and renewing them don't wait until everything is broken to actually appreciate something or to like you know be concerned about it you know you should keep everything going like consistently like keep renewing keep appreciating keep being grateful of the things you have don't wait until it's gone don't wait until it's all a mess and this season, on the outside looking in, it's probably a hot mess. Like everything was ugh, crazy and upside down. But this has been a very good season. Like I'm filled with so much joy because God is showing me about myself. He's showing me just who I am in Christ. Showing me my worth. Showing me I'm beautiful. Showing me I'm valuable. Showing me I belong to Him. That's not a small thing, that's a big thing. That's a big deal. And, yeah, I'm happy.